Okay, hey guys. So, ito na yung last topic ng ating chapter 2 ng resultant of force system, which is yung resultant of non-concurrent force system. So, balikan na rin natin yung uh, meaning ng ating non-concurrent force system. So, kapag sinabing non-concurrent force system, ibig sabihin, lahat ng line of action ng mga forces or applied forces sa isang uh, body is hindi nag intersect sa isang point. O sa madalas nata, nagagaling sila sa, sa different points of, of for example sa x and y axis nagagaling sila sa iba't ibang points okay so for example ito sa so figure natin sa point A and point B meron tayong applied load so this is force A and this is force B okay so kung isosolve natin yung kanyang resultant uh, may possibility na wala dito yung ating resultant sa A and B so for example uh, sa natin ang resultant niya is na dito okay Ito yung kanyang resultan. And syempre, yung resultan na ito is merong uh, components. Yun yung kanyang summation of forces horizontal and vertical. Ito. Horizontal and summation of forces vertical. And syempre, yung summation of forces vertical and horizontal na yun is nanggaling sa summation of the AV and BV and yung summation of uh, BH and BH. So, then, ito yung kanyang, uh, since ang ating uh, force A is upward to the right, okay, so this is upward to the right. And ito naman, downward to the left, okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung mga gagamit natin equation is, yung resultant is equals to the square root of summation of forces, vertical squared, plus summation of forces horizontal is squared. At syempre, alam natin na ang summation of vert uh, forces vertical is equals to AB minus BB. Then yun namang ating summation of forces horizontal is equals to AH minus BH. Okay? Syempre, kung magmamomit naman tayo, pwede natin pa mga. Yeah. Okay, so kung magbumomit naman tayo, it is also equal. So sabi natin, uh, this is point O or the origin. So kung magbumomit naman tayo sa isang point, for example, magbumomit tayo sa O. Moment at O is equals to resultant multiplied by its distance D or perpendicular distance to the resultant. So kung i-extend natin yung line of action of resultant R, so, ganito yung kanya magiging line of action. So, yung result ay yung ating distance D is ito. Okay, which is perpendicular to the resultant D. And alam natin na hindi natin basta-basta makukuha itong distance D na ito. So, ang gagawin natin, kukuha pa tayo ng mga uh, ibang, uh, okay, kukuha tayo sa ibang analysis, kagaya nito. Uh, okay. Kukunin mo natin yung moment at O gamit yung kanyang mga uh, summation of forces vertical and summation of forces horizontal. So, dapat makukuha natin yung distance na to. Sabi natin ang distance ito is yung uh, y. And yung distance ng fy, eh, uh, summation of forces F, fd na x. Okay? So, therefore, yung moment natin at O is also equals to iikot ng summation of forces horizontal ng Clockwise. Therefore, it is positive summation of forces horizontal multiplied by y. And your summation of forces vertical is counterclockwise. Therefore, it is minus summation of forces vertical multiplied by x. Okay? At once na kuha natin yung summation of ayong ating uh, moment at O, i-equate lang natin to sa moment at O is equal to Rd. Therefore, makukuha natin yung distance D. Okay? So, once na in-extend natin yung ating uh, resultant R, makukuha na natin yung kanyang tinatawag na uh, x-intercept and y-intercept. So, ito rin yung ating summation of forces vertical and this is summation of forces horizontal and also this is summation of forces vertical and this is summation of forces horizontal. Okay? So, makukuha natin yung kanyang uh, x and y intercept. So, this is 
Okay, uh, y intercept. Then ito naman yung kanyang x intercept. Okay. So therefore, yung moment at O is also equals to summation of forces vertical multiplied by I x. And also, summation of O is also equals to summation of forces horizontal multiplied by I y. Okay. And kung kukunin naman natin yung uh, theta x or yung uh, inclination ng ating resultant with respect to x-axis, it is equal to theta x is equal to arctan of summation of forces vertical over summation of forces horizontal. And ganun pa rin yung ating sign convention sa ating theta na kapag counterclockwise, it is positive and kapag ito naman ay clockwise, it is negative. Okay? So that is the introduction of the resultant of non and current force system. Okay, so sa mga next videos natin, magsasolve na tayo ng iba't ibang problem na may iba't ibang case, okay, for the resultant of non and current force system. Okay, so thank you for watching. Bye-bye.